In this video, I'll be showing you how to do proportional circles on Microsoft Word. Proportional circles are a visual way of trying to show a comparison between data. Now, to start off, we need to get some data. You can see on the left hand side, I do. And you need to group it. Now, the best way to group it is by always assuming that the lowest value is naught. And you look at the highest value, in this case, 1.5. And you uh, round up to the nearest whole number, so 1.6 million. And then you base your groups on that. The best thing to do with the groups is trying to keep it as low as possible. And you can see at the bottom of the screen, I've already started to put the groups into data, going up in groups of 400,000. Now, once you do that, you can do the uh, best way to do is start off with um, basically very simple groups of having a circle that are diameter uh, one centimeter. And then you can use a simple VLOOKUP to sort of group the data for you. And I'm just quickly showing you how to do that here. That's the reason why VLOOKUP is really good is because it tells you the sort of diameter that you need to give each uh, set of data and it makes the whole process a lot easier when it comes to drawing the circles. So when you uh, go to put onto Word, very simple to do, you insert a circle, you go to the size, you change both the height and the width to what you've decided, so in this case 4 for Germany, and you plonk the circle on top. The reason you start off first is actually look to see how it is. Now, because Germany is so big in comparison to the other countries, four centimeters is going to be really, really big. Even if I do things like uh, unfill it so it shows through, or change colors, or show this transparency, uh, four centimeters is still going to be very, very, very big. So we have to change the category slightly. And by having the V lookup, it's really easy to do. So if I do two and half it, you can see that if I start doing that, all the data is going to go to naught. Or well, most of the data is going to go to naught. So let's increase it by a little bit, by two by a half. So I have the top one being two and a half centimeters. That should make the circles look pretty big. So let's start with 1, 1.5, 2, 2.5. So I'm going to change that circle to 2.5. And that will look pretty good, and most of the countries will fit in without too much overlapping. So once you've got the circles and you're happy with them, the best thing to do is set up the legend with, with the categories. Now, an easy way of doing this is by having them, instead of having all of the circles in one circle, you sort of uh, increase them as they go up. Now here I'm going to change the transparency slightly because I think it looks a bit neater. And here I'm just arranging the circles on top of each other with the various different sizes going up. Because again, it's a bit easier just to format it. Make sure that you wrap text as well. So it all works on the top. Might need to make the key box a little bigger. That's why it's really good to set it up before you uh, start doing this. And for the final one. Now once you've done this, it's already good to align the images and group them, so it makes it a bit neater. So hold on that control button and clicking, and select them, you can align and group. Now unfortunately with the text boxes, the good thing about having a text box is that you can't save the items in. Um, you can easily just insert the text, and when you do that, just go across and you just type in the group. So in this case, 0 to 400,000. So whenever the person is looking at that, they know that the um, that circle is a figure of anywhere between 0 to 400,000 immigrants. And then once you've done that, you can very simply copy and paste the circles across, arranging the items accordingly. 
Be very careful that you don't block the name of the country or anything like that. Good thing about this is that if you wanted to with the circle, you can maybe put an image in. If it was, for example, looking at how much how much drink is drunk, if a certain brand is drunk across Europe, you can put it in to show that actual brand of drink. Um, if the if the circle is too small, you can position it so it goes underneath the country. variety of ways that you can do it to make sure you're consistent you have a click key you've planned it beforehand you arrange it and so it clearly shows that that might need to be a circle on the outside with an arrow pointing to the country like I'm showing here and that is how you very simply use Microsoft Words to draw proportional